<sighs> I've been trying to find a way to make an intro to this episode 7 of my Living Up To My Name series, but I, I've just, I've recorded like 12 or 15 times, and it's just not working. So, if you guys haven't seen my channel update video, then please do, because it's pretty important and it's pretty vital to the continuity of this series. Otherwise, you're going to be really fucking confused. I'll put a link to that video in the description. But anyway, I'm going to start off this video. You guys see I'm in Lunar Isle, so obviously I'm going to get a 99. And if you haven't been following my account on the high scores or my clan chat or whatever, uh, you will not know that I have been runecrafting for the past... <sighs> too long. <laughs> too freaking long. I was like 92, I think, in the last episode. And basically, you know, I haven't uploaded, uh, as of now, the 27th of March, I haven't uploaded a Living Up To My Name video in over two months. And over the past two months, I really haven't been doing anything on this account except for runecrafting. And finally, after God knows how long of runecrafting, I used this crystal on these boots, and I managed to get 99 fucking runecrafting. God damn, it's about motherfucking time. <sighs> Jesus Christ almighty. This is fucking finally done. I can now make 10 runes of the air variety from each essence. That's awesome. And I can also make double deaths, which is eh, whatever. Probably not going to do it. But more importantly, it's another 99 scratched off the list. And I am currently 2232 out of 2277, which is my end goal. And I now have two of the arguably most annoying 99s done being runecrafting and mining. Uh, I also have 14 mil mining XP and 14 point almost 4 mil crafting XP from doing Zia runecrafting, which is what I did all the way from 77 to 99. I did 77 to 86 at Bloods and then obviously stopped for the Karamja Elites. And then I picked up at 86 doing Bloods to 90. And then from 90 to 99, I did Souls, getting about 40 to 45k an hour doing Souls. So kind of do the math there. It took a lot of hours, but on the bright side, it is pretty AF cable, and I do recommend it. If you are, you know, an efficient player, then doing Lava Runes is probably your best bet because it took so long to do this, but I'm lazy as hell, and I just can't, for the love of myself, do Lava Runes. I had a tough time getting 99 construction, so I couldn't imagine clicking just as much and getting like 60k an hour, which is, it may be more than 60k, but to me, it's not even that much more faster. If it was like 100k an hour, as opposed to, you know, 40k an hour doing souls, maybe I would think about it, but it's not even that much faster. It's faster, but it's not that much faster. Anyway, I'm going on a tangent, so I need to kind of explain the background of my account. So if you didn't watch my update video, um, you will not know that um, the tradable wealth of my bank has gone down a significant amount. Um, I dropped all of my items as far as uh, tradable goes. I didn't um, get rid of my untradables because I, I couldn't fucking do that. Or I knew I was going to come back to the game um, because at, at that time I didn't want to play the game anymore and I was trying to make it to where I didn't want to come back until I had a lot of time to rebuild. And I wouldn't say I have a ton of time, but I'm in the mood to play RuneScape again. Um, so I have kind of built my bank up a little bit. Uh, I've been playing for about a month now. Have not been recording anything because all I really have been doing uh, is runecrafting. So, um, and, you know, it takes a long time. But uh, I'm just going to run through my bank real quick. I did kind of the same thing in my Iron Man series. So my bank value is, uh, once I put these pagations in, it's going to say it's about 230 mil. Um, these platinum tokens are not mine. They are a friend of mine. Shout out to my boy Tyler, who quit. Uh, he said he was not going to come back to the game, and he gave me 100,000 and 101,000 platinum tokens to hold on to for whatever reason. I know he's going to come back. You can't quit RuneScape. I've tried. Many others have tried. Very few have succeeded. So I know he's going to come back. So I'm just holding on to these platinum tokens, uh, and I'm going to give it back to him whenever he comes back. So just take these out of my bank. And my bank value is 129 mil. It's a lot less than what it was in the last episode. It was... Uh, between 350 and 370 mil, I think. I don't remember exactly how much. This is what I've been doing when I wasn't training runecrafting, uh, which is Hunter. And I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with Hunter. I don't know if that's gonna be my next 99 to go for because I only have four 99s left, which sounds ridiculous, but it's true. I have Hunter, Agility, Farming, farming Fire Making, and Cooking. I'm ridiculously close to a max game. Um, but yeah, I've done a little bit of black chins and red chins. I think I prefer black chins, but honestly, I think I'm going to try something else. Um, but yeah, my bank is, is not very expansive. There's not too much in here. Um, I don't have bandos or anything. I have an AGS. I've been doing a little bit of like stupid PKing just to kind of dick around. But uh, my bank 
layout is the same except I just don't have the tradable value that I had in the past so uh, I also got rid of all my skill capes like a dumbass but I have my two most important skill capes that's all that matters and we will get our rune crafting cape here in a second so um, there's really not much to see in my bank it's, it's more or less the same except I got rid of some of the stuff I know I know I'm a dickhead because I had that little 1000 torstal series going but I don't I don't have any more I'm sorry so let's go ahead and um, buy this this rune crafting cape I believe it is Aubrey in the Varrock rune store I think I'm pretty sure and when I say I'm pretty sure I'm about 99% sure that's where I go to buy it um, but no, I kind of want to talk about a few things in this series because I'll be honest, I've been doing so much skilling on RuneScape that I'm not really enjoying PVMing anymore. <laughs> so I don't know how this series is gonna gonna work because I don't really want to PVM because one, I don't have the money to get the gear that I used to have, unfortunately. Uh, and two, I just don't enjoy PVMing anymore because my main goal for this account is to get a max cape. So this might be the most boring series of all time because I'm only going to be recording me getting levels and I don't have that many levels left to get. So I'm not really sure how this is going to work, but I'm rambling. This is a six and a half minute clip. Holy shit. God damn, this is half of a freaking a friend video. Okay, so um, can you tell me about your... Wait, well, what does he say when he says you want to buy some runes? No, okay. I'm actually here to buy the skill cape. Can you tell me about your cape? I like no what oh sweet okay so this is one of those things where you actually have to trade them to buy the cape all right so let's buy the cape i wasn't sure if it was something you had to you know get to the dialogue but here we go we have the cape and okay i thought that was like a chin pet or something that was following me uh those wondering i did not get the um rift guardian which sucks but oh well i'm not too fussed about it and also i know i had pri uh, previously kept all of my loot from getting to 99 you know with fishing which was hilarious because i lost 40 mil because i'm a fucking idiot I apologize again for that i know that makes a lot of people really angry and it makes me really angry now especially when i need the money looking back because i lost so much um but i i didn't keep the money uh or the runes for that matter that i rune crafted from uh, 99 from 86 unfortunately I wish I did but I just I just didn't so uh, anyway let's go ahead and do this emote and end this fucking clip this is long as shit but um this is a really really cool emote I think right is it yeah this is the one autumn elegy does so and I think if you turn the sounds on it sounds really cool but I can't be asked doing that because you know editing so yeah I think that's pretty much all I have to say for runecrafting I'm glad that I'm done with it and I am eager to move on to my next 99 which I mean it's it's not gonna be either of these two because I have a plan for those so it's it's gonna be agility or hunter okay I know this is kind of random but I can't lie with you guys fashionscape is my life uh, I've done a little bit of agility uh, and I have some marks of grace I've got like 110 I think in total uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend 90 to recolor my gray soul because this shit looks disgusting when it's normally colored. I have green on my Iron Man, so I think I am going to go with, hmm, should we go with Arceus, Priscarilius, or Shazian? Hmm, you know what, I think I'm actually going to go with... Piscarilius because I've never really seen anybody with Piscarilius and I think it looks pretty fucking cool. Hell yes. I am now the proud owner of Blue Graceful. Yo, this shit looks sweet. I, I can't lie. I don't know why there's a, a green stripe down the middle. That's kind of weird, but this looks sexy as fuck. I know, I know, I could have used those on Amylize and got like 1.5 mil GP, but it's only 1.5 mil. I mean, that's not that much money to me. Alright, I know I'm not as you know rich as I used to be but I will take looking sexy over 1.5 mil cash all day awesome we just got 90 freaking agility dude that's such a good level no longer will I have to bring summer pies to this fucking course yo I love the arty course by the way I'm just gonna throw it out there this is my favorite course without a doubt it's so chill like I can damn near AFK this course like I can play on my Iron Man and do this without like losing any ticks or whatever it's awesome 
Um, but yeah, I haven't recorded a clip for this video since, what, today is the 5th of April. I think the last clip was recorded like on the 25th of March. So yeah, and it's not like I haven't been playing on this account. I just haven't really done anything that's uh, I deem recording worthy. But um, yeah, so you might think that um, my next 99 is going to be agility, but no, I'm actually going to change things up a little bit. Uh, for the entirety of this series, I haven't really been training stats parallel. Like I'll pretty much have been picking 99s to go for and then just going for them straight without touching any other stats. Um, but I don't think that's going to be the case with uh, Hunter and Agility. So now that I have 90 Agility, I also have 90 Hunter. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys in the bank how I've been training my Hunter. You guys are probably thinking, oh, Game Tut's here again, being lazy and, you know, going to Maniacal Monkeys because it's AFK or whatever. Or, you know, hunting at Black Chins or Red Chins. But no, I've actually not been doing either of those. I've actually been doing my Hunter on Fossil Island at Herbivore. Um, and if you don't know what herbivore is, it is a awesome, awesome method for training hunter that I really do recommend, especially if you're an Ironman. It's really good if you're an Ironman um, because you can do it at 80 hunter, and I've done it since 83 uh, because I just I'm not really a fan of hunting red or black chins, and I've got about 1,200 I believe kill count at herbivore, uh, and this is the loot I have. Quite a bit of. Um, Herbs. I'm not going to take them all. Eh, fuck it. I'll take them all out. Why not? Uh, do a little price check here. I've also got a ton of fossils that you can see, which is good for the museum kudos. Also got 13 rare fossils, which will be useful at some point. I don't know when they're going to release that update to Foss Island, but yeah, this is the amounts of um, money I've made from, from Herbivore. Only like 11 mil, but uh, Herbivore is, is really nice though, because I know I'm a pleb at this game and I'm not good at like three tick hunter or one tick hunter and you know you can get really high XP rates if you know what you're doing I don't know what the fuck I'm doing at chins and I just don't like hunting chins themselves in the first place uh, and I'm only getting like 130 K XP per hour at red chins and like 105 K XP per hour at black chins uh, and you know maniacal monkeys is just not something I want to do because you can't get a pet uh, you can get a pet at herbivore by the way that's another reason why I'm doing it but I'm getting like 130 ish K at herbivore so it's like just as fast as red chins and I love hunting at herbivore I cannot stand hunting chins it's just not something I enjoy doing I can't like get into it I can't get into a rhythm after I do chins for like 45 minutes I'm just completely burnt out and I fucking hate it because you're just clicking so much it's so repetitive it's just it's just fucking boring Alright, but Herbivore is awesome because you're running all around and you've got a chance to get the pet and, you know, it's not the same fucking track every time. It's just, I love Herbivore. What can I say? Uh, I plan to do Herbivore to 99. Um, you know, like I said, it's like 130k an hour. It shouldn't take too, too long and I have a chance to get the pet. Like at 100 and, uh, or I'm at like 1200 kill count now and the pet is 1 in 6k, so perhaps we'll get the pet at some point. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing in game. Uh, I don't know what possible clips I'm going to have. For this video and I know I'm saying that a lot and I really apologize because I fucking hate being repetitive but this max grind is it's boring what can I say man it's just hunter and agility and then cooking and fire making from here on out and I really don't see myself doing any PBM because I'm in a mood where I just want to get a max cape I don't want to spend any time doing any bossing or anything like that I just want to exert all my time spent on this game touch account towards my goal of getting that 2277 total up.